Whew, it's been a long time. So, you're probably asking yourself, Todd, where you been for the last two months? We haven't seen you anywhere. Well, I've been selling my house. Uh, I know I mentioned that months and months ago, but it's finally happened. Uh, we actually closed on it later today, and I'm at the new place now. Um, we've actually rented an apartment temporarily, because um, we're not sure exactly what we're going to do yet. Um, <clears throat> The, the the delay has happened with the move to North Carolina, unfortunately. We'd originally planned on moving there and oh, I lost my lighting. Uh, we originally planned on moving down there uh, this summer, but unfortunately, um, due to some health concerns with Aaron's mom, we've decided to put that off for a while. Yeah, so. But yeah, I thought I'd kind of give you a tour around the new place uh, and we could maybe go in the room is going to become the Nerd Cave 2.0. Take a look at that and I can maybe kind of uh, point out what it's going to look like. Because right now there's nothing in here. There's, I, there's, you can kind of one hand what's in here. Um, so yeah, we haven't moved anything. That all happens later. And then we have the closing later this evening on our house. So we get the check, get some cash, be good to go. But um, yeah, let's take a brief tour around here. I'm going to flip the camera around. The kitchen here. Um, this kitchen's kind of on the small side, but you know, it'll work. Uh, electric cooktop, which is kind of weird because I haven't, I haven't used an electric cooktop in a while. I've been used to gas, so it's kind of a bummer that there's an electric one here, but yeah, whatever. Uh, above a microwave. Um, these ca these can counters here, I don't know why they chose these shitty laminate ones, especially for what we're paying to rent this fucker. Refrigerator, uh, it actually came with a um stackable washer and dryer we own a really nice whirlpool high efficiency set but unfortunately the way this place is designed you can't actually fit a side-by-side -side set in here so we decided to just uh give ours to aaron's dad um here's the living room it's not exactly huge let me stand back here it's not huge. Here, you can see the few things I've brought with me so far. I have the cable guy coming here in probably the next hour or so. So I brought a TV and I brought my um, my Hackintosh setup so we can get the uh, cable stuff going. Brought a vacuum cleaner too. But uh, yeah, this is the living room. It's not enormous, but uh, it'll work. It is, I would say it's probably, I don't know, maybe 16 foot long by 12 foot wide, something like that. Uh, it's got pretty decent light though, which is a good thing because these fuckers don't believe in putting in overhead lights anywhere. Literally, there's that one in here. No other overhead lights in the living room. And then in the kitchen, you have a couple pendants hanging down and one overhead light up there. But yeah, the living room doesn't have any other overhead lighting in it, which is kind of weird. And it's kind of odd that this one's right here. It's not even in the middle of the room. It's, I, I don't know, anyways. But yeah, we have pretty good lighting coming in from that window on the end, and then that door right there, which goes out to the patio. And actually, it's got a pretty nice size patio. Let's take a look out here real quick. The patio, I would say, is probably eight by twelve, something like that. So we're gonna have a couple chairs out there, grill. And going down the hallway here, we have a couple uh, doors here that to the left and right. Those are for like pantry and like uh, cook closet and stuff like that. And here's first the two bathrooms. This is the hallway bath. It's actually quite large for a secondary bath. Um, for most apartments, it's usually pretty tiny. But um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of these countertops and this sink combination, but whatever to the apartment. And also, they don't like putting in very bright bulbs. On the camera, that might look like a fairly bright bulb because I'm pointing right at it, but in reality, it's not. Hey, here's the master bedroom. And I'm going to apologize also for if everything looks kind of bluish. I've got the camera set to uh, um, the white balance, it's just set to auto, so it's going to be all over the place. Because the lighting in each room is going to kind of vary between sunlight. And then the lighting in the bathrooms, and then the overhead lighting, it's, it's, it's gonna bounce around, so I apologize. Got a window here, and also this is, this is the master bedroom. I would say it's probably 14 by 12. I don't know, it's, it's maybe a little smaller than the living room. However, no overhead lighting. Smoke detector. But yeah, zero overhead lighting. 
<laughs> I, I guess they want you to use the wall switch here to uh, activate some sort of floor lamp. But um, there's not even a ceiling fan. That's the thing about this place. They don't even have ceiling fans in here. Um, so yeah, it's summertime right now, so it's kind of hot. But luckily the AC seems to work really well. So we're gonna be running the AC quite a bit, but whatever. Uh, master bath. One of the big things that alert us to this apartment over a lot of others is the really nice walk-in shower. Um, it's not as nice as a walk-in shower I had in my house I just sold, but compared to most apartments which have the stupid freaking tubs, uh, tub showers, which I despise, uh, this is actually not bad. So yeah, nice uh, walk-in shower with the glass doors and that little lip down there so you can just walk right in and out. That's nice. Master closet, walk-in closet. This is not big at all. Um, quite a bit smaller than what I'm used to. And there's only one set of shelves in here. Uh, so I'm going to try to have maintenance put in a second shelf. I'm going to have them try to um, take these here, raise them up, and then put another set in down below. That way we basically double the amount of clothes you hang in. Then it'll be sufficient. But as it is, I, to be honest, her clothes, this won't even fit a quarter of her clothes by itself, much less any room for my stuff. Single vanity. I wish there was two, but yeah, it's an apartment. And also, I wish, I wish these damn things were granite. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. And moving back down the hallway, the last bedroom. This bedroom here is about 11 by 11. Uh, so it's, you know, it's decent size for a single bath bedroom. At least one for a, um, we go for that window. At least one that's for an apartment anyways. Um, it has a small closet. I wish it had a, um, a large closet, a large walk-in, but unfortunately it does not. But yeah, this area is going to be a desk area. Um, I think what I'm going to do, let me back up here a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have probably two desks. One's going to run down that direction, and the other one will run down the other side. Making, I wouldn't call it an L, because uh, I'm not going to have it. I don't, I don't think I'm going to have it set up as an L. I might in the end, I don't know, I haven't decided. But my goal is to have the uh, Probably on this wall here on the main desk will be my main computer um, That'll be my editing setup and on the one end of it kind of like I do right now the way I have my current desk set up I have the the left end of the desk is my um, Main computer and on the right hand side is kind of my retro stuff You know like I'll have a Commodore up there or I have a Super Nintendo setting up there or I have an Amiga or I have whatever set up ever uh, with a monitor and I think I'm gonna kind of keep that format the you know basically the end of the the desk will essentially be my um, video making staging area where you know I might rotate out for depending on what video I'm making or what I'm filming and stuff like that. I think what I'm gonna have on this other desk is probably three or four computers and they're gonna be my retro stuff. I'm probably leaning towards having my X X68000 set up for sure. I've I've neglected that thing for way way too long. I've got a really nice 16 megahertz XVI set up with a matching sharp monitor. I mean that's like you know, $1,200 worth of retro computer from Japan that I've just been, it's been literally just saying there, it's not been plugged in like over a year. So anyways, it's definitely going, it's 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 core, it's definitely going on the desk for 100% sure. Um, I'm also thinking about putting my FM Towns on there. Um, <laughs> I've had that for probably a year and a half, two years. I've never booted it up. Uh, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put that on, the, on there also. I think I'm gonna have it set up so it shares the same monitor with the X68000. I think that's how I want to do it. So that'd be pretty cool. And also on the other end that on that desk over there, I think what we'll do is have um, probably gonna have maybe a Amiga down there, maybe the 1200, or actually maybe the 4000. Yeah, the 4000 would be better candy. So I think I'll have the 4000 set up down there permanently too. And then maybe something in between, like maybe a Commodore 64 or Atari 8 bit or you know, something like that. Well, guys, that wraps it up for this little brief tour of my uh, new apartment and uh, the new Nerd Cave. Um, yeah, I don't really do these kind of videos much. This, you know, this vlog style. I mean, I did some vlogs in the past, but you know, these Casey Neistat style videos where you're constantly in front of the camera and walking around living your life, I that's not my kind of thing. However, I do want to incorporate these kind of content, this kind of content into my videos more. Um, you're not going to see me going to Burger King or anything with the damn camera turned on. However, I do want to do, let me get the lighting a little better here. What I do want to do is like unboxings and 
maybe some techie style stuff incorporated into vlogs. So instead of, you know, like say having a repair on a console, if it's something that doesn't warrant having its own video created or maybe something that not suitable for having its own video created, like I don't want to create a technical video for repair that lasts 30 seconds, so that's stupid. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is roll some of that kind of off the cuff stuff into the vlogs. Uh, I'm gonna put some unboxings in there and things like that. So uh, I just want to make the the vlogs a little more um, know, a little more interesting. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do them once a week like I was doing there for a while. I think I'll probably do them once or twice a month, randomly. Who knows? But uh, yeah, this is probably the first of the moving vlogs. I'm probably gonna have, actually now that I think about it, you're probably gonna see a couple more videos. This one here is filmed on Friday the 12th. Uh, it's around, I don't know, 10 a.m., 9.30 a.m., something like that, I'm waiting on the cable guy. But um, you probably, there'll probably be a couple more over the, over the weekend, or well, they'll be filmed over the course of the weekend and the first of next week, and I'll upload them as I have time, because I probably won't even be able to edit this video for a couple days, or at least, yeah, sometime this weekend. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour around our new apartment. Uh, we're actively looking for our next house to buy, but for now, we're going to be right here. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.